Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Oxygen Not Included. Wherein I read that in the update they have some kind of something or other for transferring heat uh, in a vacuum across connected stuff. So apparently we won't have to leave blotches of oil lying around here anymore. That's cool. Uh, let's see if... what is... why is all this elevated? Like that. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at the research. I wonder if there's something new we have to unlock, or if it's part of it. Part of what we've already... Um, got. I don't see anything new before rocket stuff. It would be pretty cruel if they put it behind the rocket stuff. I don't expect they would do that. Let's have a look. What would it be under? Utilities? Missing research station. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I was expecting that. I, I just wanted... I just noticed that we could research the first two sciences here. Wanted to do that. Okay. So... I'm guessing it would be under utilities. No? Uh, how about... I don't think it would be under stations, would it? This I thought this was added to the game already. It wasn't announced as something that was coming. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what that alert was just now, but I'm scared. Uh, I don't suppose it would be under plumbing or ventilation or anything? Cons conduction panel? Carries liquid allowing extreme temperature exchange with overlapping buildings. Yes! This is it. Can function in a vacuum. Can be run through wall and floor tiles. And it looks like a bridge. Uh, it can't be run through other pipes. So it doesn't function like a bridge in that sense. Um, but yeah, it basically looks like a radiator. I guess that makes a ton of sense. And I guess you put it behind a building, and voila. It's like a super... Well, I don't know if it's going to act like a super radiant liquid pipe, but uh, the fact that it functions in a vacuum is probably all that we really care about. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It doesn't look like there's a gas version. Um, I guess that's fine. Or at least we'll pretend that it is. I wasn't really going to bother with a gas network for this anyway, I suppose. I mean, I think just about any fluid. I mean, as long as within the... As long as it can toler tolerate the temperature ranges. Uh, just about any fluid would pr probably do... Um, because we only need to keep these under, like, 275 degrees. Um, but yeah, that's cool. We now have conduction panel. Very nice. Storage capacity, 10 kilograms, so it's like one section of pipe. It can transfer heat effectively even if no liquid is passing through? Huh. So you're telling me if I don't even bother having coolant running through it, if I run this behind our uh, robo miners and run a pipe down somewhere where it's going to exchange heat, then it wouldn't be as efficient, obviously, but that would do the job. Oh, cool, cool. 
Um, so let's... How much steel do we have? Zero kilograms. Fantastic. Not at all fantastic, actually. What is going on here? This is supposed to be steam. Didn't we have a situation here where someone said this would be flooded, but it wasn't? But now when we load the save, it is? What the hell? Um... I'm not sure what to do about that. There's three things that are flooded. Where's the other one? Oh, this is... as expected. Actually... I'm not entirely sure it is as expected. I thought... No, we probably built this to test the idea. I think I remember that. Um, so that's fine, actually. But... Yeah, that is very much looking like a radiator. It's also very animated, even though it's not connected to anything. Very typical of this art style. Um... Okay, well, I'm not sure how to solve this problem without too much trouble. So what we want to do... Let me get reacquainted with this build. We're waiting for... 50 cycles, actually, before this thing activates again. It's going to output natural gas. Uh, it looks like we have... What is this? Gas pipe thermo sensor? I thought I put an element sensor in just to, just to know when we got the gas. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we have a vacuum in here at the moment. Atmo sensor, if above 1000 grams, green signal, and then natural gas time. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then if there's enough gas to not waste energy using the gas pump, turn on the gas pump. Uh, it goes into these machines, which will cool the gas in a loop until we let it out this way, once it's cold enough. And we're going to pump the heat into here and run steam turbine, and not pump hot gas into our base. But how will we do that with no steam and only water? Maybe I should just steal steam from over here. That might not be the worst idea. But I still have to get this water out. Do we have a mini water pump? I think we do. Mini liquid pump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I just put it here? And we'll pump it... I don't know where... I doubt adding this much water to... What do we got? 94 kilograms of steam per tile? I think it has to be less than 150 for the volcano um, to do its thing, right? Speaking of which, when is this volcano active? 30 cycles. Okay, so what if we pump water back in here and pump steam back in here? That might actually be the easiest way to fix this. And then we'll just start with some fairly cool steam in this room. To begin with. That's gas. That that's a gas pump. We want we want a liquid pump. Okay. Fantastic. So we're just gonna Well. We've got these ladders here, it shouldn't be too difficult. Just gonna pump it up there. And we'll borrow power from here. Fantastic, how hot does this come out? 150 degrees, no chance of ever melting lead, that's fine. And then 
uh, then we need steam input. But we have to stop it. Overpressure 1000 kilograms. That's way too much for the volcano. Oh wait, we're not putting this in the same room as the volcano though. Um, this thing's overpressure at 2000, so we do have to put some kind of limit in this. Uh, and I don't have room for the automation while we've got this stuff in here. So we'll have to pump the water out first and then deconstruct this and put in the gas input. Okay, then. Uh, I guess let's get it done sooner rather than later. Even if we've got tens of cycles uh, left before this thing erupts, I really want to be head, uh, ready ahead of schedule. What can we print? Dirt? Bristle? Berry? Um, we don't have that many calories available right now. Oh, yes, we do. Half of our calories are bristleberry. That's how I misread that. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good job being our number one hacker in XCOM. Um, this thing still get, keeps getting broken, apparently. Coming in at an angle. It's not that big of a deal, but still. I wish we could make steel faster. We do have a bunch of poker shells now. So we should be getting poke shell malt at a reasonable pace, which I'm pretty sure is our bottleneck for steel. Uh, yeah, it's always lime now. We've actually got four point, uh, five point four tons of iron, refined iron, and uh, two tons of refined carbon, waiting to be turned into steel, so it's literally just lime. That's our entire bottleneck. Uh, and we've now got how many poker shells? Enough that they might be starting to get glum, not yet. How many is this? One, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think? Does it say here? Uh, it says here, doesn't it? Yeah, I set the maximum to 10, because I don't know how many they can have before they get upset. Bean, bean, bean. Hilarious. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It wasn't actually bean, bean, bean yesterday. It was Sigma bean, bean. That reminds me, I haven't seen Rorosaur around, but I need to, I meant to ask him if he wants his character's call sign changed, or just leave the name and the call sign as is. Alright, how fast does this pump? Uh, looks like one kilogram per second. Yeah, one kilogram per second. Considering that each of these tiles has over 600 uh, 3,600? Yeah. Thirty-six hundred kilograms, so thirty-six hundred seconds. Uh, we're looking at an hour to pump this out. Jeez. That's... That's a while. Uh, how fast is a regular liquid pump? Uh, 10 kilograms per second. That is 10 times as fast. Okay. All right, then. Uh, can we rotate a liquid pump? I don't think so. Which orientation does it have? Right side is the output. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of this thing. I'm 
and then we might have to move the power connection as well. Why do we have another liquid pump? Here, here we go. Yeah, power connection's top left. So this will go here. Hurry up with the decon, please. Move him. Lindsay. Lindsay is on the case. Fantastic. We're bonded. I need to find and befriend this Rorosaur. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, you got to pick your bonds. I mean, it's not... I was going to say it's not that important, but then you saw yesterday, perhaps, how... Just how powerful... I think it was the level 2 bond with... Boovim and Crimson was, with Boovim giving two extra actions in one turn to Crimson, who just tore up the whole area. Well, tearing up the whole area is much, maybe a little bit of an exaggeration, but still, uh, inhuman mobility and multiple attacks per turn. Uh, is no exaggeration at all. Better than the command? Yeah. Twice in one turn, that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, you want to pick your bonds carefully to have people who are actually going to be near enough to each other to, uh, to give those commands and potentially even stand next to each other to remove negative mental effects and stuff. Alright, that's going to be a lot faster. That's, that should be six minutes instead of one hour um, to pump all that water out. And then once that's done, we're going to want... Let's use insulated pipe. Uh, we're going to want to pump in some steam. And... We don't need that much. It might actually be fine to use a baby pump for this one. Well, let's see. If we need like a hundred kilograms ish per tile times uh, 12, 1200, 1200 seconds, that's like 20 minutes, right? Off the top of my head. It's exactly 20 minutes. That's still way longer than it needs to be. Uh, let's grab a gas pump. Uh, if I'm going to put it here, maybe I should make it out of steel? What are we at? 109... Oh, sorry, 122 degrees. This can go to 125. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's an eruption, it'll d take damage from overheat. But we've got 27 cycles until that happens. And we've got no steel. So let's just make it out of gold amalgam. And... Connect like so. With copper. Oh, we're actually already just about empty on the water here. It's empty enough that one of these will work. Uh, honestly, that's probably all we need. How much water is here? Let's see. 46 grams. 23 grams. Uh, 81 grams. And 117 grams. I bet if it would even out like you'd expect it to, uh, it might actually stop this one from being flooded. But I guess we could just mop this up just to be super safe. And let's get rid of this pipe. That should probably be insulated pipe. Probably doesn't matter actually. 
If it if it's exchanging temperature once it's already in the room, I'm sure that's okay. Uh, and we're gonna need some automation, which I need to get the liquid pump out of the way first for. Please decon this so I can plan the rest. Fantastic. Alright. We're going to need to... Atmo sensor. And only output until we're at like... 100 kilograms or so. Wait, no, no, no. That's not true. Uh, there's no... I said this before, there's no geyser in this room. We can go all the way up to almost one kilogram per tile. Um, but we probably don't want to steal that much steam from this room. Probably. Well, most of this liquid... Most of this water is uh, sitting down on the floor, actually. Because it came from here anyway, so it's probably fine. How much did we put in? I believe it was like about six uh, six full tiles of water, which is like six tons? That's a lot. Is that how much water we've got more or less spread across here? We've got... Let's see, 23 tiles times, I think the average is like 120 something. 120 times 23. Where's my calculator? Uh, about 2.7 tons. Um, but yeah, I mean, as long as there's enough steam in here for temperature to be exchanged properly. I don't think it really matters. Okay. Did we finish? No, we didn't. Uh, and let's make sure we snippy snip this until we're re Oh, that would probably help, wouldn't it? You know what? Put it down here. Turns out you can't actually build stuff through Neutronium. Made a mess? Boovin, what are you doing? You're not even stuck. What? Shmua? Why? Why are you like this? You're not even... Are the toilets working? Uh-oh. Oh god. Wait. What? Why? Oh no, is this it? Is this why? You're kidding! I just wanted to have like a extra little bit of storage here. Uh, okay. How do we make this work? Probably with a bridge. And probably this goes up here. Or, and, and I would probably just snip this here and connect that. Captain Moller, the Wasab, empty now. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a mod for that? Uh, for which? There we go. That should work. Yeah, I think we're good now. I think we are good now. Maybe it would be better if I had the storage before the arbitraries, but I'm sure they'll get enough. 
on the daily. I don't think changing that one way or the other is actually going to make that much of a difference. Doing good. A mod for digging neutronium so you can build there. Ah. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's a lot of mess in here. Okay, could we please... Please finish the automation part so I can set... So that I can make the settings so that I don't have to keep paying attention to this. Why... Why can't we just... Allow... Putting the settings here before they actually build the things. That seems like it should be basic functionality. I still like how washing doesn't care how dirty the water is. Washing doesn't? Washing. What do you mean by washing? Do you mean like water CF? Uh... We've got a couple of candidates, maybe. Suit wearing, cooking, tidying. Um, I don't think so. Operating, cooking, farming. No, we're good. At this stage, mostly all I care about is... Uh, uh, for, from the new dupes, I mean, is... Supplying and building. I want... I want as much supplying and building as we can support. Because I want my new projects to actually get built and not take many cycles for that to happen. Okay, here we go. Uh, green signal if below 1000 grams. Uh, considering this can go to 2000. I don't think we need to be that stingy. But then, we don't gain that much by going above it. So, sure, stop when each tile has a- or this tile has a thousand grams of steam. Which might be most of the steam that we have in here, but then more of this water will just flash to steam, it's fine. Can have microbes in water used for washing hands slash body for reasons. Uh, with the germ stuff, yeah, I don't know that much about germs in this game. It's already at a thousand. Wait, what? Oh no, the steam is. Ah, huh. the steam is dropping temperature down to water. I did not realize that would happen. Uh, maybe... Maybe we need to wait until this thing actually runs before we put more water in. So that it'll actually maintain its temperature. This is a vacuum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we just continue putting steam in until the temperature rises in here. You don't need automation on vent, it will shut off at 2 kilograms max. Yeah, but the output from liquid vent is... Um, the output from the liquid vent versus the gas vent is different. The gas vent will go to 2 kilograms and the liquid vent will go to one kilogram. So if there's one kilogram of gas around a liquid vent, it won't be able to output, uh, and we won't be able to cycle our water out of our steam turbine. So this will no longer work. Hi, by the way, old busk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I'm... When does this erupt? 44 cycles, and this one erupts in 25. Uh, that means I need to build this out of steel, if I'm going to hold onto it. Until we're ready. Fine. For now, I'm just going to snip this so we don't get the buildings flooded again.
what have we got? Like 12 kilograms ish per tile here. So six kilograms here, six kilograms here of steam. Wait, that's already too much, isn't it? Uh, we might have already put in too much. Also, what just took damage here? The insulated gas pipe. What? Does it tell us why it got damaged? Awaiting repair delivery. Conductive wire. Insulated gas pipe. Awaiting repair delivery. Doesn't it usually tell us how it got damaged? Steam is condensing in the pipe. Oh. Okay. Um. Build one of these quickly. Hayaku. Much schnell bitte. That means now. Good job, damsel. Alright. Uh, but this is already over pressure? What? 105.8 kilograms. 2 kilograms. Hold on. We have how much steam in here? What? Is this on a whole other scale than I... No. Overpressure is a thousand kilograms for this. Two kilograms, not two thousand kilograms. Oh. That's the scale that I misread. Uh... So this is 2 kilograms, and this is 50 times that. So if we used a gas vent to put steam in here, then the overpressure for the liquid vent when we replace it uh, is never going to be too much. Not by a long shot. Not if we used... Well, except that this is going to condense to water, so... If it was hot enough that it didn't condense to water in this room... Uh, and we used gas, putting in steam was our method to put the steam in, then there's no way in a million years we could get this room to be over pressure to output liquid vent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, does that mean I have no way to elegantly get this steam out? Um... What if we extract pipe contents? I think that's just for liquids. No, it is for fluids. What are they going to do with the steam when they extract it? How's that How's that going to work? Was so confused hearing German just now? Yeah. These systems are hard to prime. It's either too hot or too cold to prime, indeed. Liquid vent does not uh, overpressure, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, like, when I built one of these systems the first time, I brought so much water in that when it flashed to steam, the pressure was too high for the water to come out through the liquid vent. But this time, if we ignore that it would condense, uh, if we filled this room with steam as much as we could with the gas vent, uh, it'd still be 50 times too small to overpressure the liquid vent. Um, I'm kind of curious. I, I kind of expect something bad to happen. <laughs> uh, if... Like, I'm kind of expecting steam to just explode here if we use this errand. 
Hence, I'm not going to try it down here. Oh? Wait, is that what I think it is? It's a bottle of steam? Uh, that's kind of neat, I guess. Will it condense to water just sitting here? I've never seen this before. Yeah, its temperature is dropping. Is it going to, like, spill water, or is it going to turn into a water bottle? Oh, there it goes. And there goes some more... Wait, why didn't... Oh, because it's trying to go to the gas vent. Okay, deconstruct that there. Those plastic bottles are some real quality? Yeah. Truly. Well, at this rate, the problem is going to solve itself. Um, albeit leaving some damaged pipe behind. Okay, and then... Empty this? Is that gonna work? Maybe? Wait, 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 no, I don't even want to do that. Because I don't... Uh... Just, just leave it. It'll just let it sort itself out and fix it and deconstruct it. I was building a magma steam turbine and accidentally split some liquid from my liquid lock. Hit the hot steel door, steam filled my vacuumed area, and suddenly all the heat transferred into my airflow tiles. The whole area was ruined. Yikes. That is so much work to fix. Alright, how many more days until we can get this thing going? 43.7 cycles. That's too many. I want it now. Can we just decon these? I think we can. Okay, how much steel do we have? Zero. Is that because we've got something queued up to use steel? Or we still haven't produced any more steel this entire stream, even though we have ten poker shells? When do they molt? Overcrowded glum. Okay, how many is this? Uh, ten. Okay, how about nine? I think we had eight before, and they weren't glum. And he's going to get taken uh, to the farm to retire. Alright, so we've got nine. Are they still glum? Overcrowded glum. Does that change instantly? Or... I think it does. Let's go down to eight. Oh, and I didn't mean to go into slow motion there. I am the sky, here to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It changes instantly. So they watch one of their friends get kidnapped and never to return, and suddenly they are not glum. Fantastic. So how often do they give us uh, poker shells? Or poker shell malt? Does it tell us here? Shh. 
Shells they leave behind after molting can be crushed into lime. That's the idea. I don't suppose the database, which has never ever given us a shortage of information, will tell us precisely how often they'll molt. Nope. Me too. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm new here. Can you tell me about this game? Uh, sure. So, Oxygen not included. Uh, it's a pretty unique game as far as I know, so kind of hard. Okay, to start with, it's a colony sim. So you start with basically nothing. Like, you've got three dupes, I think it is. Three little workers. You've, you start with, uh... A little cave area maybe this big. You've got some food, you've got workers, you've got a limited supply of oxygen. Uh, you've got people making a mess in their Atmo suits, even though we've got working toilets. Is he stuck? Oh, he is stuck. Uh, why is... Is there no power? What is happening here? Damage overloading? Conductive wire bridge? What? I'm sorry, I'm getting... Okay, before we go down that rabbit hole... Uh... Yeah, basically, it's a colony sim uh, to start with. But compared to other games, it goes into a lot more detail with the physics of things that you have to deal with. So, in a game like Factorio, uh, basic electricity setup, you just slap together an offshore pump, uh, a boiler, a steam turbine, shove some fuel into the boiler, connect a power pole, and that's it, right? Uh, in this game, to use a steam turbine, you need to fill a room with steam, not too much steam, don't let it get too hot. Make sure the machines that you build in the steam room, if that's what you're doing, are made of a material that won't get, uh, that won't overheat in the steam room. Make sure the steam pressure isn't too high. Uh, what else? I don't know. Make sure the steam turbines themselves don't overheat. It, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot harder to learn this game with things like this. Not all of it is that hard, like a lot of things you can learn one little piece at a time, like like other complex games. Uh, but steam turbines are a great example of where you need to get several things right in parallel before it's going to work properly the first time. Physics? <laughs> yeah, it does abuse uh, physics a little bit. Um, it, it plays fast and loose with the laws of thermodynamics in a couple of places. Speaking of Colony Sim, any plan to check out Dwarf Fortress at some point in the future now that it's had its big release? Um, I don't know. It's... I mean, I had a look at it. I'm not impressed by the price point, to be honest. Uh, but also, it doesn't... It The UI and stuff is not as big an improvement as I was hoping for. Like, it's still the exact same game with just some sprites instead of uh, instead of ASCII characters uh, and it's also incredible oh no are you kidding me why is this broken played Factorio how similar is this um, not that similar like I said this is I think this is much more difficult to learn than Factorio um just because of, like I was talking about here, where you have to have several things that you have to get right all at once, and most of them are kind of hidden. Uh, you know, the first time you set it up, you'll have no... There's no explicit hint that, you know, don't build your Thermo Aqua Tuna out of anything but steel, otherwise it's going to overheat and break. 
Cries in Pyanodon, indeed. Fair enough. Okie dokie. Um... Why is this broken, though? No power wire connected. How did it break? From overheating. What's it made out of? It's made out of steel? What? How hot is it in here? 649 degrees? How did this happen? Turbine too hot, generator idle. What? What did... Uh, no, that's correct. What about the active cooling loop? We turned it off. Okay. Um, how about this? Temperature's dropping. Ragnar is still stuck in here. Uh, is this thing gonna work anytime soon? It's not. We'd need to go in here and fix this, and we can't because the airlock doors don't have power. Okay, I think what we can do... ...is temporarily put a power transformer here. How did this break earlier? Oh, now I don't- now I can't find out? It said it was overloaded. Potential load is double, uh, what it can theoretically take. But... Oh, right, I forgot. These bloody large power transformers output 4,000 joules. Uh, sorry, 4,000... 4 kilowatts. When these wires can only take 2 kilowatts. Very not handy. Um, it's, it would be very rare that we would actually use that much power on this set of wires. It would be really nice if the large transformers matched the, um, the conductive wires limits. We can either split this and do another... Uh, either way you look at it, we need two transformers to do the job of what should be one transformer, and we're going to get twice as much heat as is necessary. But I... Th because we need to s either split this or just limit the amount of power we put into it. And either way we need two transformers. Okay, I think we'll do that. That's all broken because it's 650 degrees. Yeah, I don't know how it came to this. I don't know how the steam turbines, which were self-cooling, where self-cooling was enough, um, got to the point where they were too hot to function. And we desperately need this wire here. There we go. Um, should I not let anyone in here for now? I think so. Oh, that's lovely. The made a mess from the Atmo suit just falls on the floor. Nice. Good. Okay, so this will be dropping to the temperature where the steam turbines can work soon. Um, then we'll start dropping the temperature in this room, then we can go in and fix things. Um, as for over here... Uh, we're just going to use a pair of... Uh, a pair of transformers to get two kilowatts. Uh, if our max load on this wire is more than two kilowatts, but if we just limit the input, it'll be fine. Overall, we don't need two kilowatts. Uh, 
How much thermal mass do you have in the steam room? That would be my th first guess. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Mr. Mycelium, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rather play Pyanodon than Oni, though. Oni just makes my brain hurt. Just rather watch t -Hex play it. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't have the mass? What do you mean by the mass? We're down to 104.5 degrees on our steam turbines. I believe they'll work at exactly 99.9 .9 degrees. Meanwhile, we're pumping heat back into the base to cool our steam turbines. Uh, crate blueprint, supplying, decorating, cooking, don't think so, just give us food. And I want to come up with an automation system here that will run coolant through the steam room only if the steam turbines are too hot to function. Uh, so the first thing... Well, I want to see what temperature exactly it settles to when self-cooling is working. Hurry up and cool down already. If you add igneous rock temp shift plate uh, to the entire background, you might be able to make it work. What do you mean, might? It has been working. To run a self-cooled metal volcano tamer, you need to actually have a lot of thermal mass to buffer the temps. Uh, again, it has worked before. Um, I don't know why this was the exception. All you really need is more than enough steam turbines to keep up. Uh, and enough steam in this room as well. So it takes more energy to heat it up. Alright. So it gains like... 1.4 degrees, I guess? 1.5 degrees, perhaps? Every operation, it seems like? But that's with really, really hot steam. It's going to take a while to cool down. Now we need steel to repair this. Bloody hell. That's a whole hundred steel to fix this. Speaking of um, steel... Where the bloody hell are our poker shell malts? Or do they just get consumed so quickly that I don't even get to see them? Is that what I think it is? No. Salt. Why is this getting damaged? What's it made out of? Lead. Okay. Yeah, it's unusually warm around here. Uh, we've probably got a million copper by now, 10.6 tons, although that's including this super hot copper that we can't touch. Uh, but th that's only two tons. Let's, uh, let's replace these with copper versions. What's this made out of? Copper, fantastic. I think that if you deconstruct broken elements and reconstruct them, you don't need more steel, as the deconstruction will give you all the steel back. That's weird. Uh, and we're making... There we go. Copper Atmos suit docks. So I'm going to have to wait uh, until... Is this thing dormant? Next dormancy, 19 cycles. Uh, I'm going to have to wait until this whole room has been cooled down. 
before we can get a feel for exactly what temperature we should set a sensor to. Uh, where is it? Thermo sensor? There's only a few tiles I can fit this. And how can I make the hydrogen only run through here if it's strictly necessary? This is a backup plan only. Hmm. I could squeeze in a gas shut off. Here and only here. I wouldn't be able to have this coolant go all the way over here, but that's probably not even necessary. Comes in at 16 degrees, leaves at 65. Uh, I guess every tile is exchanging temperature still by the time it gets over here. I could put the gas shut off somewhere else, that's kind of what I was thinking beforehand. I would like to have it set up so that... Oh, we can fit it here. Okay, I think I like that. So we put the gas shut off... There's actually only one place to put it. Why is that? Why can't I put it here? Well, I don't know why the output can't be on that side, but okay. If we put gas shut off here and a bridge here. That's not going to work. It's going to go into the bridge as a priority. I want it to either be 50-50 or prioritize going through here if the gas shutoff is active. It's a pity we couldn't, like, bridge the input to the output of the gas shutoff across one tile, and then we could just put this here. Um... It's actually pretty awkward. Power thingy takes space, yeah. The uh, conductive joint plate. Except I can put this part in front of it, but not this part. Where am I going to fit this? Or more to the point, where am I going to fit the bridge? Wait, do we need this? Yeah, we maybe sort of... Probably don't really, but kind of do. I mean... We've already got our vacuum in here. We shouldn't need this anymore. In which case, we could uh, gas shut off here, keep this tile, and gas bridge uh, right about here. So that could go in like that. And 
taken that way. Priority input would be to go through this way. Uh, and the rest would go this way. That should probably be fine. Right? And then we'll need some automation wire to connect these two. And then we just have to figure out what temperature we should aim for. But if we go above X degrees in the gas here, then it means the steam turbines are too hot to function. So we're basically trying to have them just self-cool, but in an emergency we'll exchange temperature with the rest of the base to keep the steam turbines running so that this doesn't happen again. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we up to in here? We are fixing this disaster where somehow this room ended up at 600 and something degrees and even broke our steel equipment. I don't know how this happened. We used to run all of this by uh, self-cooling with the steam turbines, which was working. Uh, and then, for some reason, it didn't. Uh, and I'm now setting up a system whereby... I, I remember we busted this once, somehow. That's why I had the, the coolant pipes running hydrogen through here temporarily. And then I disconnected those so that we wouldn't loop hy hydrogen through this room. Um... But now we've... Now we're setting up a system where... Why is this unreachable? What do you mean unreachable? It's... It's right there. Maybe I can just put some ladders in after we remove this mini gas pump, which they still don't want to remove. We've got power here, we've got... both directions are allowed. What's the problem? Oh no, oopsie, indeed. How close are we to getting our natural gas? 40 cycles? I thought it was like... I thought it was less than that earlier. I've set up a notification for it, I shouldn't bother checking. Um, but we do... 